Well, it's a hidden cost of climate change that's upping the ick factor for beaches along the East Coast. The scientists say you could be swimming in more fecal matter on your next vacation. WRO's Liz McLaughlin explains. North Carolina's beaches could be brimming with bacteria. When we're getting these, what I refer to as normal summertime rainfall events, that we're seeing these kinds of spikes in these bacterial concentrations. UNC professor and microbiologist Rachel Noble says she's seeing some of the highest E. coli and fecal indicator bacteria numbers of her career. They're so high that I'm suspecting that some sort of pipe, pipe in some of these locations is either cracked or broken. She says rising sea levels and higher high tides caused by climate change are filling aging infrastructure with salt water, further eroding drains and seeping sewage into swimming waters, in addition to rising temperatures that let germs flourish. Actually, those bacteria can persist for much longer periods of time in those systems. States test the water, but the results typically take 48 hours, so swimmers may be in contaminated water before an advisory is released or avoid swimming after the levels have returned to normal. I don't check the swim, guys, but we know the rule about not swimming, um, especially in the inlet side after a big storm from the storm runoff. It's pretty gross. The thought of that in the water is enough to make some beachgoers flip out and potentially rethink recreation. I don't know if I want to go in the water anymore. Noble says it's a safe bet to stick to only swimming in a treated pool for 24 hours after it rains. Liz McLaughlin, WREL News. That little girl's face says it all, doesn't it? You know, it's too bad. It's so refreshing to be at the beach and to dip in the water when it's hot. Professor Noble and other UNC researchers have come up with a rapid test for bacteria. Some cities like San Diego have adopted it. Now many are pushing for North Carolina towns to also start upgrading to faster testing methods. Well, you can't avoid E. coli by skipping the beach. It's an issue in freshwater as well. State and local health officials monitor E. coli, other bacteria, and toxin levels at area lakes and recreation spots. The Haw River Keeper monitors Jordan Lake. A nonprofit called Sound Rivers works with volunteers to monitor bacteria bacteria levels in the Noose, Tar, and Pamlico rivers. Bacteria levels at these sites are posted online. You can find links to those resources on WRL.com as part of the story.